squaring up stock um, I'm going to start by machining this face this is a, a factory um, cold rolled face which I'm going to put against the back jaw of the vise obviously the back jaw of the vise is the most stable thing on the mill um, I'm going to put that in there what I'm also going to do just put that in there just to support it for a minute but then I'm going to take it out when I get the wire in I'm going to use a bit of aluminium um, welding rod just to grip it take that out just so that it actually pushes it against the back fence of the vise or the back jaw of the vise I should say to get it nice and square so we can just start our first face. Once we've got our first face we'll be away. Actually, that, that's not a very good face. It's got a bit of a round in that face. I think I'm going to use this back face. Put that. I'm going to put this back face, or this flatter face, bigger surface area, up against the back jaw, and then I'm going to machine a good face on there. So we've got something to start with. Face number one, I'm now going to put face number one against the back jaw of the vise. Right, it's a case of uh, clean up and deburr after every cut because the little burrs you easily throw, throw it out. better. It's square against the back jaw now. When I've finished machining this face I'll have a, a nice little right angle there to um, put this uh, back in and I've then have two faces As you can see, this this is the face that I um, cut on the bandsaw, so it, it's only machined up as far as here. There was still got a rough piece here, where um, my bandsaw skills uh, obviously leave a little bit to be desired, and it wasn't cut exactly straight. But uh, anyway, we'll just um, set the cutter down and uh, trim that back up. There's no need for me to. Uh, show you that, I'll cut that and then I'll come back to you. Right, I've deburred, cleaned everything up, we've now got two faces which should be um, 90 degree to each other which means I can now put this bottom face down onto the bottom of the vise, this machine face which is face number two onto the back jaw of the vise 
still using my bit of aluminium welding rod or you could use, you could use a ball or a bit of round rod anything like that um, as long as it's not flat and uh, now we've got a machine face on the bottom I can tap that down just a, a visual check and um, we'll get this side machined off now Right, okay, that's the third side squared up. I'll just get this cleaned up and then I'll come back to you. now got the three faces which means now I can set it down on the parallels and clamp it up now I don't need my little bit of uh, aluminium welding rod because I've got two good faces to clamp to so I just clamp that down a bit tap it down now this will determine how well the machine is set up probably um, because with it tapped down the parallels shouldn't move but this one has got that one doesn't move this one's got bit well barely noticeable movement in it which means the machine is probably within I don't know one tenth or something like that but you know for my little hobby shop I'm I'm okay with that Right, just going to touch off and uh, machine off this face. faces and uh, all we've got to do now is to square the ends up now there's a couple of ways to do that let me just release that from the vise the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to move it out there and I'm going to mill the ends turn it round or flip it over whatever and mill this end now what some people do which is fine is to um, uh, yeah, set it up on there like that or set it up on there and then they'll put a square off of the parallel to there and then mill the top face like that but I, I just prefer doing it this way uh, I don't know which way is the most accurate but um, doing it this way is certainly accurate enough for me Okay, that's that face done. Let's get that out, pop the other face in. Right. 
this end is the uh, mill finish um, so there's no bandsaw cuts in there so get the There we have it. Um, I haven't spoke anything about uh, dimensioning, but that's, that's sort of quite deliberate because the purpose of this video is obviously for squaring up stock. Um, so what you can do one, once you've got a couple of faces done, when you then do your opposite faces, you can then dimension your stock to whatever you want. Um, but um, I, di I didn't do that because there was no need in this case. Right, just for kicks, let's put a square on it. Now these are, are very cheap Chinese squares that I've had for about 10 years, so I don't really know how square they are. But that looks, I don't know if you can, you might be able to see that, I'm not sure. But according to this square, it's within, well, I, I can't, can't even see any gap in there at all, so it's quite reassuring, um, purely from my point of view, to, to know that the mill is quite, uh, you know, is set up pretty well. Um, also, what you will get if, you, if your head's not trammed correctly, is every pass, you'll get like a little, you'll be able to feel like a little um, line on the cutter which, which sort of means that the cutter is is tipped slightly so it's digging in slightly as it passes it, deep you know greatly exaggerated but uh, anyway that's um, squaring up stock hope you enjoyed the video and um, if you did click the like button and um, subscribe for more of this kind of stuff thanks for watching